We spent a lot of time getting Goliath back here up and running so we could use it for this project. So today, we're gonna put the head on our D4400 engine. First off, I'm gonna start putting those head studs in. Out of 42, those are the best 21. Dad has painstakingly cleaned each and every one of these studs over on the wire wheel, which he's doing some more right now. And this is a combination of the best ones we could find from 7J's engine and 4G's. And we were looking for ones that didn't appear to be bent, didn't have the corrosion, and somebody hasn't used a cam over stud removal tool on them. Dad's got a regular production line over here. Right now he's cleaning up the washers and some of the nuts. You may recall when I took all of those studs out of both of those engines before, I'm gonna use the same method, just in reverse. Put a little lube on these threads just to lubricate the nuts a little bit. We'll start right here. top of the block to the top of the yep. bolt you want 0. 0.520 yep okay. five five inches and 5.2 inches okay so we gotta go a little further that's kind of getting tight right Is there it? yeah well you're pretty close see yeah should I give it a little more? If you can, is unless it's tight. I don't want to tip over. No, I can get more. Now, now, I'm, getting, now I'm spinning my nuts. You know what? If you screw them into just where they stop, that's I probably where they be belong. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Got all 21 of those in, and they are very consistently the correct height. Dad's compiling all the nuts and the washers that go to the head. He's got them all cleaned up. They're all ready to go. I just cleaned up these surfaces. Dad's cleaning out these holes on here, and it's been a long time since we had worked on this head. Excluding the combustion chambers that we repaired slash replaced, this head's been sitting on a shelf. This was our go, no go with this project. If we could get the head fixed, we'd continue with the project. Well, we took it up to antique crawler parts. We had to get a couple of new used valves. He ground them and put them in, pre-lubed everything. It's been sitting on a shelf, but we're at the point now we need to get it installed. So the plan right now is to get our valve compressor, take the valves out, we will clean everything as best as we could. I'll clean the surface down here below up so that we can get a nice, make sure there's nothing, no imperfections here. And then we'll just put it back together once it's cleaned up. Okay, you on it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I can see debris and dirt in there. All right. We're going to take all the valves out in, in hindsight, but we got this yardstick that my granddad picked up years ago to keep track of your valves and guides. So we're going to start here. This is number eight. 
The number one cylinder valves are going to start from the front to the back. This being the front of the head all the way to the back. In the future, in hindsight, when we're not sure we're going to use something, we're not sure where the project's going to go, I'm going to go ahead and clean it, needle scale it, get it ready. If it's trash, it's trash. But it'll save us from having to redo things like we are right now. number ones at one inch and so on and I think we're going to be happy that we did this because we got a lot we'd like to clean up and once we get it clean we'll definitely go over everything good with solvent and finish the job okay cleaner go cleaner go I don't know what do you think are we happy that we're doing this actually I think so this is probably the right thing to do get this thing degreased good and then we'll we can needle scale this on the side yes and I, I want to clean up this surface up here where the gasket goes under the valve cover and this will keep everything out of our valves too loves his needle scaler and it works really good to get especially if you got thick rust or thick paint that chips it then you can hit it with a wire brush it usually takes it all right off looks like this head's actually on its second layer of paint you can see the different paint underneath and that is the original head from 4g we got a lot of paint off of this head so that's good. We've got it prepped for paint, wire brushed it. But now we got to get it back in the tank. We're going to rinse it off again. Then we're going to put it in our clean solvent tank, rinse it off again. The good news is I think the needle scaler shook loose a lot of that scale and junk that was in the water jacket. I've blown through air through every port. Everything's open. And we've gotten a lot of that junk out of there. And we got a lot of that junk out of here when we did these two pre-combustion chambers. So, I think taking this apart, taking the valves out, this gave us quite a bit of peace of mind. I think this was probably a good thing to do. The head's getting its final wash down here, and then we're going to be ready to put the valves back in. them all in there and it turns out yeah there's a trick to it we were over compressing the springs and we couldn't get anything to hold the keepers in uh, the key is to not over compress the springs you only got to compress them barely enough to get the keeper in i had taken the corks out of two of these holes right here so i am going to screw new corks into them and cut them off and then i'm going to Cover this up. I guess we're ready to install it. Make a little room. This is going to be Goliath, the crane's maiden voyage, doing actual work. And we'll get that over here and put our head on. But before we do that, we want to compare the head gaskets that we have. Let me just stay there. Let me spin mine around. Now swing back. There you go. There we go. That's fine. 
Now we can lock it. We've got the crane over here so we can put our head on with it. And Dad and I are both pretty worn down. We spent the last three days getting D4s and hauling them home. These are the head gaskets off of our 4G and the 7J engine. They're both D4400s and they are exactly the same. We just placed them on top of each other and double checked all the holes and they are exactly the same. We're gonna put the head gasket on here and check and see how everything looks. This is our new one. We're going to use the 4B3052. Dowel pins are over here and here. You can only put it one way. This has got to, but that shouldn't hurt. I think we'll we'll go ahead and use that one. What do you think? This the one under here? Yeah. Let's pull it off and we will clean this mating surface and we're going to clean the bottom of the head up too. Yeah, we'll put our head gasket against the bottom of the head and check it too to make sure that all the holes are correct in the head to the yeah. block. Now flip it up. We're going to stay away from the valves. We got those kind of pre lube, but we want to make sure that this head has got one final wipe down. We're going to turn the engine because we want all the pistons about in the middle so we can put some oil in there. We want a bunch of oil sitting on those pistons. That's fine right there. right there. Anywhere there is fine. That'll work better with that hose, don't it? Oh, yeah. I don't know. We don't want it down in that dome, though, do we? Well, not really. Try to just get it on the edge. Yeah, you got too much. It was, I had a hard time getting it in there on the others. With that other oil yeah, don't can. put so much. Oil's cold this morning. As long as it soaks down along the rings. Yeah, we'll be good. I'm doing one final double check, making sure all our marks on our pistons, everything in here lines up, and it's the way it's supposed to be. We're going to wipe this down one more time after we put oil in all the cylinders, and then I think we're going to move ahead. Got my speed wrench set up. These are a 15 16 nut. I've got it set up. I've got the torque wrench set to 90. So the first go around, we're going to, to torque them to 90, and then we're going to torque them again to 130. Right, lay it down first. Okay. All right, let's set her up here. Just like that. There we go. All right, we're going to put it on backwards. <laughs> we won't. All right, you should be able to just put the, let me go down a little more. The way I used to do this. easier than trying to manhandle yeah. it. Part number is going up. They can only go one way because there's dowel pins in the corners of the block. And we're not going to put anything on this head gasket because this is a fiber head gasket, so... I don't think it's going to leak or have issues much like the uh, solid steel ones do. Not high enough? I need to go I'd a little. I'd go a little more. A little higher, don't I? How's that? That'll work, I think. Are you level? I can, I can level it with the spreader bar if we need to. All right, you want me to come down I, slow? Yeah. yeah. There. Yep. Coming down. Yep. Okay. Looks good. When I get down close, we'll check with the flashlight and be sure there's nothing under there. Oh, 
right, you want to check and be sure there's nothing under there. Yep. See anything? Everything laying nice? Yeah. Come on down. Go ahead. Hang on. There we go. Okay, she's down. Yeah. That's putting the nuts on. We put one drop of oil on each of one of those and there's a washer underneath and if you look at the nuts they are directional so there's the top and you can see on the bottom there's kind of a machine surface that's flat that goes up against the washer on the bottom and then the more rounded area goes towards the top i'm going to get the speed wrench out snug all of these down and once they're snugged down, I'll use the standard kind of torque sequence for an engine cylinder head. In the middle, outward, we'll do all of them to 90 foot-pounds, then I'll up it to 130 and go over the same sequence again. Got that completed everything's torqued we actually did this three times because I did another one off camera and each time dad would put a mark across it to make sure we stayed in sequence and didn't get out of order but everything's torqued everything's torqued in the proper sequence and the proper torque this thing's definitely getting bigger so what do we think about the gantry grain oh it's the only way to go easy can level things up, go down easy, no straining, no problems, no getting fingers caught. So, time well spent building the crane? Oh, absolutely. It's going to be immensely useful. I think things are going to go a lot smoother with yes. this crane, for sure. Yes. And this went very smoothly. Well, there we have it. Got the head on. I'm going to throw the valve cover on there before I cover this up, just as extra insurance to keep things from getting inside there. I do want to thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. I've already glipped all the inside of this and sandblasted it for paint, but we're just going to set it on here just to keep this clean. Goes this way. Mm -hmm. Starting to look like something, isn't it? Yeah. Any of those. All right, we'll use a couple of these nuts. There's a joke there.